Hello everybody, John here, and today on To The Garage, we're bringing you another secret in what should be a mini-series, as it turns out. Um, I could do a whole series on secrets from the footwell of your Jaguar. Just, um, just the way it's panned out. So I've got my head underneath the dashboard again, but a really interesting one that I am pretty sure I'm going to say the majority of people with XK8s and XKRs will not know about. So let's have a quick look at this one. Okay, <clears throat> so here we are down in the footwell. We have the throttle biddle, we have the kick down switch, we have the brake, and we have the dead pedal or left foot rest if you're in the UK, spare foot rest, right foot rest, I don't know if you're in a uh, left hand drive car, don't know what they call it, but it's a dead pedal. Um, somewhere to rest your foot, keep it comfy. Every Jaguar XK8 and XKR came as standard with two of these. Um, and the idea was, this is the high dead pedal. And if the customer was particularly long-legged or had very uh, big feet, etc., etc., then the Jaguar dealer could um, remove this dead pedal and leave you with the long leg or more roomy dead pedal instead. Over the years, um, some people have had these removed, possibly by the dealer at point of sale, and it was not given to them. So they've only got the long level, uh, long leg version. Um, some people have found it, removed it because it, they wanted more space, they wear big boots or whatever. And again, that's got lost. So some people will only have the uh, long leg version of this pedal. This is the short leg version of this pedal. Um, I, mine's very loosely attached at the moment, just so I can do you a quick show. And then I'll show you how you remove it for real. So the, luckily for us, the short pedal, short length pedal, is hidden behind this one unless that's been removed, very unlikely. So if I now just remove this one for you, because I've only clipped it in very lightly, there is your long leg version, which gives you a lot more space around the pedal box. There are two exposed nuts, and on the back of your short leg version are these two clips. And these clips can be removed. So we're gonna shuffle one out for you, there you go. And when you remove them, that is the bung that goes in your hole. Snap it into position and tidies that pedal up. This can be removed as well, but why would you? You're just gonna get filthy carpet. So I snap this back into position on there. There we go. So, now that you know you've got two, you can experiment and play between the two. Uh, I actually prefer the short one um, because I'm not overly tall, but I must admit on a couple of occasions I've driven around without this in place. It's a bit of a revelation how much extra leg room there is and there's just something about having no pedal here that makes it feel like there's a much wider uh, transmission tunnel area to keep your feet in. I do wear toe tectors a lot, so that big space does feel quite good. But actually, I prefer this in place. Right, so how does it fit? I'm going to explain before I refit it. There's a notch here and here. And there's a notch on the top here and here. And basically, these two items hook. There's two pegs you can just see at the bottom here. They hook behind there on the bottom one and they hook over the same two items which are a bit lost in the pile of the carpet at the top there. The top is the one that you probably need to access quickly. Um, so I'm going to put this back into position properly. So obviously just pull back the carpet. Oops. There you go. Um, the two big round plugs going to the big round holes 
like so and then give it a good shove and you've heard that snap into position so that's easy to remove it you need to reach over the top of the pedal and that piece I showed you with the two notches in you need to get your fingers around it it's not the easiest thing but then you don't do it every five minutes and you just pull up you're bending the plastic until you can unhook it from its two little um, studs and then off she comes so there you go you have the choice between the two pedals that were included with your car unless a dealer or somebody else has already removed them and uh, left this one out but most of you will have this one in place i'm pretty sure so there you go short legs long legs both equally accommodated and thought about by jaguar and this should have been part of the tailoring experience when you picked up your new jaguar if you were wealthy enough to be the first owner of one of our beauties there you go on mine i find it easier to reach around this side and lift and you're just disengaging it from two little notches here and here so it hasn't got to move far as soon as you're off them pull back and then you're just pulling those two plugs out there's a very similar latch at the bottom but obviously once you've got the top out the bottom will probably jiggle itself free anyway <laughs>